I'm Chad from Chad DIY and today's project is mounting a projector to the ceiling. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to want to do is find the center of the screen to the outside wall. Now I'm going to take that measurement and line it up to where the projector is going to go. Where I draw my line is where I want the center of the projector lens to be. Now I'll make the measurement for how far back I want the projector to be. For my projector, it needs to be 11 feet 9 inches away from the screen. Now I can add the bottom part of the universal mount to the projector. The mounting kits include all kinds of different hardware, so you just have to find the ones that work for your projector. I tighten up the three screws and it's ready to go. Next I'll attach the top part of the mount and hold it up to the ceiling so I know where the screws should go. I'm just matching up the lens with the marks I already made on the ceiling. Most projectors do have a zoom feature so you can be off an inch and still make it work. Here's a shot of what I'll be mounting the projector to. I added a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood and you can see the outlet and where I have the HDMI cable running as well. I had a bucket hole screws in the plywood and then I screwed it into the joist to make sure everything is nice and secure. Now I'll attach the top of the mount using three screws into the plywood on the other side of the drywall. If you don't have the option of putting the plywood behind the drywall, I'd recommend trying to find a stud to screw into that. Alright, so I got my bracket on my projector ready to go as well as my bracket mounted into the ceiling. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to mention, when I finished this basement months ago, I was always planning on doing a projector. The projector I was going to do had a shorter throw distance. So if you can see kind of what I have going on here, that's originally where the outlet and the HDMI cable came. When I got this projector, I didn't want the cable running 2-3 feet and just, I don't know, it didn't look good to me. So I moved the outlet and the HDMI cable back. So it was a little bit of a hassle. I can patch this better, not a big deal. but. Planning is key, so if you're, if you're going to wire it up, I suggest make sure you know exactly what projector you're getting as well as what size screen you're using, and then you can add this right the first time. Now I'll just clip the projector onto the top part of the mount. Here's a close-up of what the top part of the mount looks like. You can kind of see where I clipped it in, and now I'll add a couple more screws to secure everything in place. As you can see, there's a ton of different adjustments to go from side to side or front and back so you can line this screen up perfectly. Now I can just hook up the power cable and the HDMI and try everything out. Now I just match the image to the screen and then I tighten all the screws on the projector mount. So here's the final image with everything lined up to the projector screen. Well, that's today's project. Uh, pretty basic. It probably takes you less than an hour to get it mounted to the ceiling. Two main things is make sure you know the throw distance of the projector you're using. I'll provide a link to um, the website where you can figure that out. Also, make sure you're drilling into like a stud or what I used is a sheet of plywood above the drywall. Um, you don't want this thing to fall as you're sitting on the couch below watching TV. So um, if you have any questions about this project, just leave them below. I'll leave a link to the projector I use as well as the mount. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks.